Gotta love having great neighbors. When Miss Elsie clears part of her lot of pine trees, she brings them over for the goats. We were gone for Thanksgiving week, visiting family, and when we came home, there was a pile of pine branches, and then she stopped by earlier today and said, I have more if you want more, if they'll eat more, and I said, they certainly will. They love it. So let's give some of these to the goats. I'm going to feed some to the goats. You are? Yeah. You're going to carry that all the way over there? Yeah. All right. Let me grab one too. Oh, they like that. <laughs> they clean them up. You see those branches all empty of leaves? And now a new branch for them to eat. Oh, they love it. Now let's see if our beautiful purebred Piney Woods cattle likes pines. Do you live up to your breed? Peter likes it. Oh yes, Lashes likes it too. Nummy nummy. Here comes Bill, I hear him. He hears there's food and he comes running. Even the chickens like to eat a little bit of pine. What do you guys think of that? Yummy? Yeah? Is that pumpkin good? You sharing? Good girl. Miss Piggy and her three little gilts are doing great. Yes, they're doing good. It's amazing how much American guinea hogs will root up an area. They've got all this space all the way into the woods. It's just all turned over. Hopefully some pumpkin seeds will grow for the spring. Even the chickens get some pumpkins. I actually just busted that out and to give to the Cooney Coonies. Let them eat a little bit first. We've got a few more pumpkins still to feed out, so we try to give one a day now instead of a bunch a day. But they sure are a nice supplement in the fall when people donate them to our farm. <laughs> the Coonies love the pumpkins too. Yum yum, huh Bowser? Bowser, there's another piece in there for you. It's hiding under Bill's feet though, so you're just gonna try to steal from mom? They, they will eat it fast too. Old Mama Friendship must be down in the woods today because I don't see her anywhere up here in the pasture. She really likes going in the woods, especially on a day like this where it's 70 something degrees out here and it's the beginning of December. Pretty crazy, right? Gotta love living in Georgia. I'm gonna go to get and I do it every day. Well, every day I'm working with that. Oh, okay. So you're going to get the eggs for me? Because yeah. you know how to get them out of the nest box? Thank you. Such a brave boy. <laughs> Did you find some eggs? Yep. Three of them. Awesome. Ta-da! What a good farm helper. You sound kind of snotty. Is your nose stuffy? Oh, that's a duck egg. That is definitely a duck egg. I wonder who laid that. Cool. That's a big one. That looks like it could be a double yolk. They're both big. So the dark brown egg layers are laying again. Mama Pig. Peaches loves her bed of straw or hay. This is the same hay that we feed them, but for some reason the coonies don't eat as much hay as the American guinea hogs. Oh, look, he's got a piece still. I didn't know he still had a piece, or did he just go steal it from the cow? Funny little piggies. It's Careful. You, you gotta go around. Around the dookie have... pile. Because I'm the perfect kid for a farm. Yeah, you are. Yes, 
so we picked up a little cold in Massachusetts visiting family, but it was so worth it. We got an excellent visit in. Got to see my mom and my dad and my sisters and brothers and brothers-in-laws. I just wish that my other sister and my niece in Arizona had been able to make it. But, and I really had wished that my older two kids, Vivian and Dalton, had made it, but they had other plans. It's weird having two kids that are grown up and three that are so young and dependent on me. It's like completely different life, but it's happening at the same time to me. And it's a, it's a beautiful, wonderful thing. Oh my goodness, I was just checking the garden real quick because I haven't really done anything out here in a while. And this radish, look at it, it's huge. Oh my goodness. Ah, so this is one of those black radishes. I did a mixed planting. These are cool looking. That'll be really nice in a roasted radish dish. Oh, Robert, are you watching? Look what I got. <laughs> Peas in December in Georgia. Told you so. Totally worth the wait. Delicious. You know what else is delicious? It's these are radish seed pods after the radish blooms. So this is, is this radish? Or is this radish? Radish, mustard, all the brassicas are kind of the same. Different color flowers. But the seed pods are a nice spicy little bean. Mmm. Nice little peppery kick to them. I still think this is my favorite one to snack on in the garden. This is my chickweed. Absolute yum. Mmm. It's so nutritious. Squirty bird. Have you been over here eating my garden? You're not supposed to be on this side of the fence. She is our super friendly bird. Has a tendency to come out in the yard when we're out here. As long as she don't eat all my tomatoes in the summer, it'll be okay. Not bad for a quick check on the garden. That'll make for a large family side dish for our family. What'd you want to show me, Rowan? Okay, so. Here we go. Here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, yay! Playing in leaves. That's fun, huh? Yeah. Where are you going to go with those? So while we could eat all those greens on the radishes, I have found that I don't prefer them, even though I like most greens. They're just too hairy and sandy in texture, even when you wash them clean. So those will be great to give to the animals. Just cracking some of these black walnuts. They are delicious. The boys aren't as big a fan as I am. They said it tastes like perfume, and I was like, you're right. It has a very floral note to it, but it's definitely not bitter. It's funny because I had so many people tell me that they could end up being very bitter by nature. These are not. They're sweet and aromatic. Cactus and truck. That's what this boy likes. You're gonna take your truck for a ride on your tractor, huh? <laughs> Where are you gonna sit? Your truck's taking up your whole seat. 